Hello together, my name is Alex, welcome to my channel. Today we are checking out the Ugreen 500 watts charger. This charger I bought for my own use because it can charge a lot of devices with high power. You can see here it says fast charge 5 laptops simultaneously. I believe that this is a huge claim and I believe that once this charger gets hot it will not output the 500 watts but let's uh, do a first unboxing and first impression video and I'm trying to also do some short tests. On the back we can see that the first port can do up to 240 watts and the other ports can do maximum 100 watts and the USB-A can do maximum 20 watts with a total amount of 500 watts. You can fast charge your MacBook because that works with 140 watts. This is the charger, it's very large and heavy as expected. Let's see how much it weighs. And as you can see it has over 1.5 kilos. Here is the older 300 watts and let's see how heavy this is. And for comparison this is a compact charger, 140 watts. It has 284 grams. And here is a 65 watt charger. This has 125 grams. Here we can see the footprint for each charger and also from a different angle so that you can understand the difference. On the front we have the five ports. I'm a bit disappointed that the other ports don't support at least 140. So all these ports here support only 100 and this is the port that supports also 140 up to 240 watts. On the bottom side we have two large rubber feet and we are using a standard PC power supply cable here compared to a laptop power cable that we are using in the older 300 watts. After a lot of testing I managed to only get around 400 watts out of this using all the ports together. The first port uh, using 140 watts and all the other ports were limited to 60 watts. If I did not uh, put so many devices, the other ports would work at 100 watts, but with all the ports occupied, they are limiting themselves to 60 watts. So I even try to have uh, 5 times 100 watt, but this does not work out. As soon as I plug in 4 devices, the power gets split. So I would not say it's exactly 500 watts. Most likely you can get the 500 watts when using a device with 240 watts on the first port, which doesn't exist at the moment. In my test for half an hour, the charger got just a bit warm nothing serious.